Hi, I'm John Messer. I'm the Leadership Development Catalyst for Luminex. And today I'd like to talk to you about the biggest leadership barrier between uh, missional effectiveness in a church. And uh, that's called the 412 Leadership Barrier. Uh, let me give you a little background. First of all, remember there's a church life cycle and there are two challenges that we face as leaders in the church and at about 200 that's the organizational challenge. We have to be organized to be effective for ministry. And then about 400 there comes a leadership challenge which challenges us to lead in a way that is effective for a church of that size. Now I'm going to tell you from personal experience and from studying I see that between 2 and 400 there is an ongoing chaos that needs to be resolved in the leadership of a church. And I'm going to tell you that in my opinion, and I think biblically speaking, that challenge that we're facing is the challenge to be a Ephesians 4.12 leader church. What that means is we have to truly believe that Ephesians 4.12 is true, that Jesus is the one who gave the church apostles, prophets, evangelists, shepherds, and teachers, not just so they could do all the ministry, but because they are to equip the church for ministry. They equip the saints for the work of the ministry. That's their job. It doesn't matter what your gift area is, it's to equip the saints for the work of the ministry. How do we know if that's happening? Well, look at your church, and do we see that it's being built up? Is it being edified? Is it being strengthened? Or is there maturing growing on in the church? If so, people are doing ministry. Uh, the other thing is we will reach a unity of faith and knowledge in Jesus Christ as we grow. But I'm going to tell you the key here is for leaders in the church to be absolutely committed to the principle that their job, pastors, elders, associate pastors, staff members, your job is not to do all the ministry for the people. According to Ephesians, according to Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, your job is to equip the church for the ministry. Where churches are not doing that, they are enfeebled. They're not growing the way God intended. Because I'll tell you, there's a principle here, and that is that Christian growth as individuals, as a church, depends on each Christian being a minister in the way God intended them to do. That's why Ephesians 2.10 says, God has prepared good works for you to do in advance. And as you are called and equipped and prepared, then you grow. There are certain things that you will not accomplish, you will not grow, until you are ministering as God intended you to minister. So pastors, elders, I challenge you to be 412 leaders. Equip the body of Christ. Don't do all the ministry for them. Your ministry is to teach and train and equip and send your congregation into the mission field. And you'll be blessed when you do. Thanks.